up, down, up, down. What up, everybody? This is your boy Shaxx by Zim, switching up like I always do. Bringing you guys an Uncharted 2 Let's Play. You know, I've never really played this game before. I played Uncharted 1 a little bit. The game's really boring and really draw it out, but this one's a lot better. Always wanted to do a Let's Play of it. Let's go. I'm not gonna talk through any of the cutscenes. What's going on? That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. <laughs> This game looks fantastic. Sometimes this game has a little bit of puzzles, and it can be just a little bit tricky sometimes. That's just about it. I don't want to get hit by this rock up here. Hold up. Yup. Damn, yo. <laughs> like, I thought you had to dodge that at first. I've only played through a little bit of this uh, level so far. And like I, whenever I see this game, man, I think Drake. I think he's like a superhuman. Cause you know I would never be able to do all this. I don't know. I'd never be able to do all this, you know. <laughs> Straight up. From this game compared to Uncharted uh, three, or compared to Uncharted two. Like graphically, it's improved, and just the physics and everything about it just looks better, more intense, and funner. In Charted One, there's just so many areas where it gets dry, man. And this one is not looking that way so far. Oh, gotta scale up this. Oh, this man got ups, you know. No way. Oh, I thought I was about to die. Because that was about to be bad. There we go. Like, I'm telling you, man, this man is a superhuman, yo. He's clutch, straight up. This game is seriously epic, though. Like, sometimes you don't even know, like, if it's a cutscene or not. That's how good this game looks, man. I'm seriously looking forward to Uncharted 3 because that game it just looks fantastic yo like Uncharted is like the Gears of War on PlayStation that's kinda how I compare it so it feels like these two games are competing with each other uh oh I'm too fat ha 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 <laughs> Alright. Oh. Like, if you're not watching this video in 720p, man, it looks good. Straight up. This looks like it's going to be a long cutscene. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? 
Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. And I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, Flynn, Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Mm. What? Chloe Fraser. Chloe Fraser. I said Fraser. <laughs> Fraser. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. Yeah, Go buddy. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. That's what Daddy like. Go in through the sewer. Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, this like game is way too case. detailed, you know. Collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. More. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? <laughs> if you haven't realized, this game's a lot about treasure and all that. Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father. Maffeo and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. Must be nice. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. You in then? the hell I'm telling you though Chloe looking all right for a video game chick I want to call her cherry <laughs> let's go now I kind of wonder what happened just uh land in a place like this with a messed up train track and fire and blood Do what this is it's nothing always keep your eyes peeled out when you play this game because there's treasure you can find and stuff it's like hidden intel from black ops oh yeah buddy give me that gun oh there it is a door just hop through here I'm telling you though, this man got ups. There we 
we go. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. Yeah, it is. I noticed in this game you get a lot more ammo than you did in the last one. Like, Uncharted 1 was just crazy hard. I wonder how this one's going to be. So, like, Uncharted 1, there'd be points where you would just straight up get stuck. And there was nothing you could do about it. I'm telling you, though, this man's got ups. <laughs> wow, yo. This game looks amazing. Damn. Like, my man's is already injured. Like, on top of that, he needs a dang... Another train just hitting him, yo. Like, straight up. And it was all a dream. Wow. Hey. Uh, well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Yeah, buddy. Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget Hell, I'd be jealous, you know, straight up. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was yeah, actually buddy. to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said. We pull the heights, <laughs> find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn. Mm -hmm. and then yep, this is Cherry. I ain't calling her no Chloe. And you and I just Straight up. Disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. No, what, ha what happened to the last girl in Uncharted? Like, I didn't play it all the way through. I played it till about, like, chapter 10 or... T no. Like, chapter 22 or something like that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think I was in the middle of the game before I just stopped. Uncharted 1 got really dry. But this one's keeping me interested now. Oh, my man's got ups! All right. Some climbing under here. Jeez, yo. Guarantee something's gonna explode in this long tunnel. Yup. What I say? Something fell. Must be nice. Well, anyway, guys. This first episode of Uncharted. I can't upload any more than 15 minutes. So I gotta keep it short. But anyways, you guys enjoy this. And I just found my first piece of treasure. Let's go.